Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Philip Reitinger, who is President and CEO of the Global Cyber Alliance. Philip, thanks so much indeed for joining us today. Glad to be here. Now, I'd like to start off uh, by talking a little bit about the Global Symposium for Regulators, GSR 18, and uh, this is an important uh, event in ITU's calendar. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, the Global Cyber Alliance and, uh, and your, your presence here, why this is important for you to be here. It's important for us to be here. I'm the, as you said, the president of the Global Cyber Alliance, and we're a little different than most nonprofits that work in this space. We're a nonprofit, but we don't do reports and recommendations. We actually work on implementation of measures to reduce systemic cyber risks where governments in the market are not now taking care of the problem. So we work to solve a problem the way a nonprofit and a lot of other sectors might do. And why is it important for you to be here at this, uh, this particular event? Well, this event is about IoT and cybersecurity and what to do about all of that. Um, it's important for us to be here because IoT is perhaps the biggest problem right now in cybersecurity. When people ask what keeps me up at night, I always say IoT. Um, and the reason it's important is because we haven't really solved for the network that's out there now for laptops and smartphones and cars, the, the question about how we secure things at scale, given the broad distribution. And IoT, the Internet of Things, or the Internet of Everything, some people say, takes that scale problem and makes it significantly worse. You'll have at least two orders of magnitude more devices out there, and probably more than that. Now, you participated in a session this morning on AI and I IoT. Why is this global dialogue on AI and IoT important? It's important because, much like the Internet of every is everywhere, um, IoT is going to be everywhere. And if countries take distinctly different approaches, for example, different regulatory approaches or different market-based approaches, there could be a real problem. The network crosses borders, and it's important that we we have devices and people able to interoperate, able to talk with one another. And that requires a consistency approach if we're going to effectively address the problem. And perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the relationship between AI, IoT, and cybersecurity. Well, AI is an important issue in cybersecurity itself. There are a lot of questions. And one of the things we talked about on the panel this morning is, does AI make the cybersecurity problem worse or better? Right now, it's probably a little bit worse, but in the long term, if it doesn't make the problem better, then we're in a lot of trouble. Um, AI is really the only way to solve parts of the cybersecurity problem. We need the network to be able to operate at scale. We need the network to be smart and to defend itself against a lot of sorts of attacks. That requires some sort of distributed artificial intelligence. And as we deploy the Internet of Things, that becomes even more important. Without the assistance of AI, um, the costs from cybercrime and cyber attacks are going to continue to skyrocket, but just skyrocket faster. So should people be worried or optimistic about the future? Both. Uh, right now, I would predict that the situation's going to continue to get worse. The one prediction I've been able to make every year since well, 1995 is that next year things will be worse. I'm confident right now in telling you next year things will be worse, and I'm confident in telling you that if I sit here a year from now, I will tell you that next year things will be worse. We've got about 10 more years, I think, at least of that. Um, but people can be optimistic that there are the right approaches out there. there we, it, we created this problem. We wrote the code. We can make a difference. We can change how it operates. So it's a solvable problem. It's just not one we're solving very well yet. Well, Philip Reitinger, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today, and we look forward to catching up with you next year as well. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for you guys at home and watching this uh, uh, on the ITU YouTube channel. Do check out the other videos on this playlist too. Thanks very much.